What's up guys, it is Sam here and today I wanted to talk about the Cyber Truck from Tesla. So it'll be a good video, it's more of just a off the cuff video while I am driving, so make sure you press that thumbs up button. But if this is your first time here, what's good? My name is Sam and for those of you that are returning, it's good to freaking see you. Now with that being said, let's get into it. So uh, I watched Elon uh, Musk release the cyber truck well what is the cyber truck well tesla's making a uh, electric pickup truck that T elon's been talking about since 2017. the uh you can look at pictures um online the truck looks crazy looks absolutely crazy uh the event uh because i watched on youtube um the event had a a lot of uh a lot more <clears throat> Theatrics, I guess you could so call them, um, which I liked. I, I liked the production value of the event more so than than the why. I think showcasing some of the value. Uh, I'll, I'll go through and list off a couple of the things that they did uh, at the event. Um, first of all, the steel that they use on the truck um, is a much much. Uh, well, it's basically attached to the vehicle other than like a body on frame on a traditional truck so that you can use the frame to stabilize the truck so you have a much more rigid ride. And because the frame is actually being useful, it's not just a cover. If it's just a cover, I mean, I'm sure if you just go press on your like side panel on a car, it's like dented, right? Uh, it doesn't take a lot of uh, pressure to do that. Whereas on the Tesla, they brought out a, a regular truck door um, and then they brought out, then they had their truck on the stage and they used a, it looked like a, I don't know, 10 or 12 pound sludge hammer. And the, smashed the side of the door for the um, truck door that they just had out there and then they smashed the Tesla truck door multiple times and the Tesla truck door didn't even dent with this with this sledgehammer like that's pretty insane so that was one of the stunts another one was the and the reason for that is because the metal that they're using for the frame is actually going to be absorbing some of the energy that um, is in the car so it's not all going to be taken up by the frame so instead of having that paper thin um, frame on your car or not frame um, the body on your car the body's actually useful now which means that they've made the body substantially thicker and substantially stronger than other ones which is awesome for a truck i own a landscaping company that i'm in the i basically don't really own it anymore um but the uh i had multiple trucks and the trucks are constantly getting dented um it doesn't take a lot to dent a truck and to have little like mishaps where just like the handle of a tool comes down and hits the side of the truck, that causes a dent on like the Ford and the Chevy that I had, uh, where if you, it doesn't appear that if you just have a handle of a tool and it falls on the truck, that's not gonna cause an issue here, which is awesome. Um, another theatric that they had was the glass is substantially stronger, according to them. Uh, they had a, a metal ball that they brought out. They brought out a traditional piece of glass and then the Tesla glass, and they dropped the ball on it, and then they dropped it from three different heights. The first drop on the traditional glass bracing, the, all three drops on the um, uh, Tesla glass don't break it, but then they take the ball, and this I don't think was planned, it just seems like this was off the cuff, Franz, who's the, uh, I believe the uh, chief designer at Tesla, uh, he has the ball and he's walking over towards Elon, and Elon's like, yeah, throw it at the glass, and, and the guy's like, yeah, seriously? And he's like, yeah, and he throws it at the window of the truck, and it breaks the window of the truck, which was kind of entertaining, I don't think that was planned. Uh, and then he was like, well, try it again. Throw it at the back window. And they throw it at the back window, the back window breaks. So uh, that is kind of <laughs> interesting. The truck is going to be a monster. So in many, many capacities to um, the traditional truck, better in every way. Adaptive air suspension on every single model standard. Um, autopilot standard on every single, uh, every single vehicle. 
it's only going to start at $39,000. That's insane. Um, because it is such a better vehicle than what's currently on the market for $40,000. And it's electric, so the cost of electricity to charge the vehicle is substantially less than the cost of gasoline to charge the vehicle. Um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down below. They're already taking orders for this. Uh, they did They did a couple other comparisons where uh, Elon, over the past two years, has been talking about how he wants it to be more powerful and capable than an F-150 and yet still be able to beat a base 911. So they did that comparison. They had an F-150 um, that they were going to be pulling and they just had the F-150 go this way and the Tesla go this way. Um, and they were attached by a rope and the, tes the, the tires of the Ford F-150 are just screeching and starting to smoke and Tesla's just pulling it this way up the hill. Um, Kind of, <laughs> kind of entertaining. Then they did a drag race with a Porsche, uh, Porsche 911, um, and the cyber truck. The top of the line cyber truck starts at seventy thousand dollars, and its zero to sixty time is two point nine seconds. Um, that's just stupid quick for a truck. If you uh, don't follow vehicles, there's a vanity metric that most car magazines or most car people talk about, which is the zero to 60 time or the top speed. It's, a, it's just a completely arbitrary metric that doesn't have any value in terms of overall driving experience or very, 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 very small. And this is what's quoted most of the time, but the zero to 60 is 2.9 seconds. That is extremely quick. It's going to have 120 volt and 240 volt uh, in the car, so you don't have to bring a generator with you if you're using it on a job site. As well as because of the adaptive air suspension, it's going to essentially be an air compressor in the truck where you could just put it on an attachment, and you don't have to bring an air compressor with you. This is some amazing. Excuse me. This is some amazing, amazing stuff. It's going to have more ride clearance than the traditional trucks out there because of the air suspension, but also when you're driving at highway speeds, it adjusts dynamically. So you don't have to worry about that, and the ride quality is always good, whether you have the, the truck bed loaded or whether you have the truck bed not loaded. It changes accordingly to give a, an amazing, amazing ride. Uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down below. Uh, I, I do. I would like to buy a Tesla not necessarily the truck, but uh, the Tesla, or go for a, um, a ride and get some footage of this to do a, a better video. If you guys have one in the area of Massachusetts, let me know down below in the comments or reach out to me 